Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Rick Blackwell. The State Department says Hillary Clinton never signed a separation agreement when she left. That form is an official statement that employees are supposed to sign when they leave the agency. A State Department spokesperson says they did not find forms for either of Clinton's predecessors. Now, earlier today, House Speaker John Boehner weighed, weighed in on the scandal. Now that's why it's so important for Secretary Clinton to turn over her personal server to a neutral third party. Uh, I think this is the fairest way to make sure that we have all the documents that belong to the public and ultimately all the facts. The House Committee on Benghazi has extended the deadline by two weeks for Clinton to turn over all emails. The new deadline is March 27th. Embattled Congressman Aaron Schock resigns from his seat over allegations that he misused campaign and public funds. Questions first surface after the Illinois Republican decorated his office with expensive items similar to something you see on the TV show Downton Abbey. Shock is facing heat for failing to disclose several trips with or for friends and staffers where he allegedly spent taxpayer money. A spokesperson says he will leave office at the end of the month. In a recent interview with Vice News, President Obama says climate change is one of the hardest problems to solve. The challenge on something like climate change is there comes a point of no return. Now, the president said that many of his uh, Congress people in Congress should be looking at this issue. And the president even slammed GOP Senator James Inhofe from Oklahoma for denying that climate change even exists. Federal officials charge a U.S. Air Force veteran with trying to cross into Syria and join ISIS. That's according to new information released this afternoon by the Justice Department. The man has been identified as Tehrad Nathan Webster Pugh, who served as a mechanic. He's scheduled to be arraigned tomorrow morning in New York. And the son of controversial Alabama Judge Roy Moore faces drug possession charges. According to AL.com, 24-year-old Caleb Moore was arrested on Sunday. He was charged with possession of marijuana and of a controlled substance. Moore responded with a Facebook statement where he blamed the media and, quote, crooked police officers for his arrest. An associate professor at Penn State is arrested for disorderly conduct after she gets booted from an American Airlines plane. Check out this cell phone video of Karen Halnon of, on a flight from Nicaragua to Miami. She can be seen smoking a cigarette, then blaming it on someone else. She also gave a bizarre rant about U.S. and Venezuelan relations, claiming that President Hugo Chavez is his hero, her hero. Huge chunks of ice are making a mess out of the northwestern part of Ohio. These aren't boulders. They're huge blocks of ice that were pushed out of the Maumee River near Toledo. The ice stabs, slabs damaged roads, and they knock down trees. And that's your Newsmax Now update. Always stay connected at Newsmax.com.